Good morning and welcome to St. John's Cathedral. If you're a guest with us today, I hope you feel welcome and that the order of service um, will help guide you through our worship. Um, we use the red prayer book and the blue hymnal, so we hope you'll sing. We hope you will join us today at the altar rail for communion. And today's a great celebration for, for baptism, and we'll have other announcements as the morning goes along, but welcome. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now this morning for our baptism, we first begin with our baptismal sentences in your order of service. There is one body and one spirit, there is one, body and God's also one Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. The Lord be with you. And also you. Let us pray.
O oh God, you have taught us that to keep all your commandments by loving you and our neighbor, grant us the grace of your Holy Spirit, that we may be devoted to you with our whole heart and united to one another with pure affection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Though we are empowered by the Holy Spirit, we struggle to do good and right as God gives us power through our Lord Jesus Christ. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. Now if I do what I do not want, I agree that the law is good, but in fact, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. For I know that nothing good dwells within me that is in my flesh. I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. For I do not do the good I want, but the evil I do what is what I do. Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I that do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do what is good, evil lies close at hand. For I delight in the law of God in my inmost self, but I see in my members another law at war with the law of my mind, making me captive to the law of sin that dwells in my members. Wretched man that I am, who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to the crowd, To what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We wailed, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Apprehend God in all things, for God is in all things. Every single creature is filled with God and is a book about God. Amen. So I was watching a TED Talk. You guys ever watch TED Talks? Great. This is going to be great. (laughs) Seriously, none of you ever watch TED Talks? (laughs) Okay, cool. Two people. That's great. So we'll go for you. uh, um, And as part of the talk, um, she did a little quiz. Kind of a quiz. Not really a quiz, but kind of a quiz. So you guys up for a little quiz? Okay. We'll do it. Even if you weren't, we were going to do it. So we're so here it is. If in rush hour traffic, you always remain calm. If you see posts on Facebook about your neighbor's exotic vacations, and you don't even have a little bit of jealousy. If you love everyone around you unconditionally. Great quiz, right? And if you always find contentment right where you are, okay, then you're probably a dog. (laughs) Man, eight o'clock, this bombed. So this is great. This is great. This is great. Thanks for playing along. Uh, um, yeah, all right. So by show of hands, who wants to be a dog? All right, or who wants the people who they live with be a dog? Yeah, yeah. That, that's probably more like it, right? I know I do. I certainly do. But the truth is, I'm a human. And so are you. We're human beings. And the thing is, that's what Paul's writing about today in in Romans. The beautiful mystery that we are as human beings. The beautiful mystery that we are as human beings. I mean, listen to this. And this is good news. Before I'm going to read it, and then this is good news. Keep this in mind. He says this. I do not understand my own actions. For I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing I hate. I know that I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. I know that I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. And this is good news. Okay? And this is, I'm going to tell you why this is good news. Okay? It's good news because of who this guy Paul is who wrote this. Do you know Paul? I mean, like on a first name basis and all that? You know? (laughs) Paul Paul was a Pharisee. So he was an uber-religious dude. Uber, uber, uber religious. All right? He followed the law of his religion to a T. Okay? He, He was an obedient, strict 
follower of his religious law, and he did it well. And he writes about it in, in other letters in the New Testament. Okay? What he discovered, how does a guy who lives like that, lives by the law, lives exactly by the law, lives perfectly, you're right with me, man, all right. So lives perfectly like that, get to a place where he can write this. For I do not do what is right. I can will it, but I can't do it. For I, I do not understand my own actions. And this is how. Okay? What he's saying in, this, in his own life is the law can only get him up to a certain point. And then at that point, his humanity kicked in and he recognized his own frailty and his own limitations and his own need for grace. That's why this is good news. Because if I follow the law perfectly, always, and I think that's all that there is, why do I need grace? Why do I need God's love? He recognizes this in himself. And this, this, this is brutal honesty right here. And he recognizes in himself that he will never be perfect. It's not part of the human deal. But what he recognizes through his honesty is that he can grow. And he can be open to, to the love and the grace that God, I think, is constantly pouring out in life. But it starts with this. It starts with this honesty. Can you relate to it at all? Can you relate to any of this, this letter right here? Can you relate to the, I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. Have you ever been there? If you have never been there, just leave. Because <laughs> you don't need this. You, you don't. You don't need it. You got it, right? So... <laughs> Not really, don't leave. <laughs> so if you can, if you can, I can will what is right, but I cannot do it. Okay, so I relate to this so much. Too much. I could sit in here and talk to you forever about this. Okay, and I'll show you one way. I've talked to you guys, some of you before, about my referee stuff. You know, like going to basketball games and freaking out on the referees. That's this. Okay, but here, here's another, here's another confession. Uh, um, so, um, other than referees, one of the other things I, ha I hate is are t tailgating. Do, do you guys tailgate? Don't do it to me, please. Don't do it to me. Uh, um, so, uh, it had been a really tough week, really, really rough time. I was tired. Uh, I was getting ready to go home, and there was a lot of traffic, and I thought, you know what I'm going to do? And this is what I usually do when I'm in this place because I don't want to go home stressed. I don't want to take that home. I should have walked the labyrinth, but I didn't do it. So I, I got in the car, and there's all this traffic and all this stuff going on, and I thought, you know, I'm going to drive down. I'm going to cut through and go Cherokee Boulevard. Do you guys ever do that? Highly recommend. Well, don't do it because then there would be too much traffic. But um, <laughs> it, it, it's great because it's... It, for me anyway, it's a beautiful drive. You get to see the river and the trees are pretty. And I drive down there not to cut through and get a, a shortcut. I drive down there to go slow. Because I want to slow down. That's what helps me not carry the stress home. So, so I'm, I'm doing it. I'm getting ready to Right, right at Cherokee Boulevard, getting ready to turn in in this big SUV. Pretty sure it was John. No, no. <laughs> Not really. It was somebody else. So she comes dry. I just wanted to make sure you were listening to me. So she comes driving up and just comes right. And I'm thinking, oh, this is great. Man. You know, so I'm driving down Cherokee Boulevard, and sure enough, she's just tailgating me. And, and I'm going slow because I want to go slow. And I've got on spa radio. You ever listen to spa radio? <laughs> ah, and it's like, ah, chill. You know, it's, like, ah, it's so great. Except for this person behind me. And she's just tailgating. And so I'm trying all my tricks. Well, maybe she's in a rush. Well, maybe she's late. 
well, maybe, maybe, you know, and it wasn't working. I was just getting more tense and more frustrated. Spa radio wasn't working. And so, so I pulled over in one of those turns, that, you know, those turnarounds there at Cherokee. I pulled over to let her go by. And she goes flying by, and on the back of her bumper sticker, it says, Kindness Matters. <laughs> And I'm like, really? <laughs> really? Really? I was like wanting to chase her down with a, my own bumper sticker. Tailgating's not kind. <laughs> See, but the truth is, is what I should do is I should have thanked her. Because what, the reason I got so mad wasn't because of the tailgating. it was because she pointed out to me my own inconsistencies. Because I'm not always kind. And I want to be. You see, what Paul's letter said is when I can own that, when I can own my own stuff, then I'm open to grace. Then I'm open to growth then I can appreciate instead of denigrate being a human. Myself and everybody else. Because being human really is this beautiful, beautiful mystery. And in the end, aren't we all really just doing about as best as we can? And I think in the end, that's what we're trying to give to Wyatt here. We're trying to say to him, we don't expect you to be perfect, flawless. <laughs> he said amen. That's an amen. <laughs> we, don't, we don't expect that. We ex expect you to come and be human with us and grow in the love of God. Amen. And now let us stand and sing stanzas one, two, and three, O, o God of General Strength, which is on your service, insert. <laughs> Congregation may be seated. You guys ready? The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. I present White Bourbon Christ to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? Will you by your prayers and witness help him to grow into the full stature of Christ? Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. Will the congregation please stand? And this next question is for you all. 
Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support Wyatt in his life in Christ? We will. Let us join with Wyatt, who is being committed to Christ, and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son of God. Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit? Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will. Help. Let us now pray for Wyatt, who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver Wyatt, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open his heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill him with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep him in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach him to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send him into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring him to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Amen. All right, let's come on up. You guys good? The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt. In it, your son, Jesus, received the baptism of John. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Name this child. Wyatt Thurman Price. Wyatt Thurman Price, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You did great. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised him to the new life of grace. Sustain him, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give him an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Quiet, you're sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Amen. And now let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood. And as they walk, baby Wyatt, down the aisle, let us sing the fourth stanza of the hymn in your insert. Good job.
we will exchange the peace and please greet those around you with your name. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Please be seated. And welcome, everybody. It's good to have you all here this morning, particularly the extended Price and Hudson families. Um, we're glad you're here for this great day of baptism. And we were going to baptize Wyatt much, many months ago, but he was ill and in the hospital. So all well and all things good, which is great. Um, also, a busy Sunday. Thank you for the choir for being here. Um, Jason Overall and EJ Joy, um, our organist and assistant, presenter and assistant, are in Bristol, England, with all the musicians from the Anglican Communion. So from folks from all, of the, all over the world, um, they're in England this week for their conference. So it's a great opportunity. We have Teresa Pepin. Thank you for being with us um, as our guest organist. She's been here with us before, and it's great to have her back. So lots of busy things. Also, we have a lot of folks that you would normally see at this service. Guess where they were this morning? They were at Lakeshore. So we started our uh, uh, our summer at the, our Sundays at the shore out at Lakeshore Park. It's a service from 9 to 9.30, very casual. Bring your lawn chair, bring your dog. We had lots of dogs, lots of kids. And I think we had about 100 people. We didn't expect that. So it's kind of fun. Um, drop in and see us if you'd like to. Again, um, there are signs. It's at Marble Hall at Lakeshore will be there every Sunday during the summertime only. Um, we'll finish in the end of August and just a, a, just a different way to worship, different way to be together. So it's kind of fun. So this service will probably have some folks not here and back in, so it's in and out all summer, but uh, part of the rhythm of summertime. Um, again, we hope all is going well for you. All right, and welcome everyone. Ascribe to the Lord the honor to his name, bring offerings and come into his courts.
And we continue with the great thanksgiving on page 361. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing. Always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For by water and the Holy Spirit, you have made us a new people in Jesus Christ our Lord, to show forth your glory in all the world. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of power and might. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ. memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people, the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. I need to come out to Lakeshore. Yeah. There are several. It was, it was just so laid back. Okay. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia.